All right. So our subject today is kinesiology table. Just like I was talking before about other stuff about like scraping is you probably I started noticing about um, when the Olympics were in Australia. Um, all these people started coming up to me going, I noticed that athletes are wearing, what's all this black tape that you're seeing on the athletes? As you can see up here, she's wearing kinesiology. And I was like, I have no clue. I thought it was tape we've used past, right? Athletic tape. Athletic tape comes in different colors. I said, I have no clue. It doesn't really work, though. This is, but all I thought was this. So I had to do what you did for trying to do what? Some research. I started looking at kinesiology tape. And so kinesiology tape is different from athletic tape. It is really different. The, the actual structural difference is different. We talked about athletic tape. Our bread and butter is athletic trainers. It is woven, right? It is cloth and has a percent of cotton. Okay? It, is, it doesn't stretch. It's a little bit of pliable. Kinesiology tape, on the other hand, is stretch. It stretches. It has different designs. Okay? And so, so I had to figure out why do we use it and how do we use it. Okay? And so what would they found out? It was designed in 1970 by Dr. Kenzo Case. He was a chiropractor and an acupuncturist. And so he started looking at the design of the tissue. What he was figuring out is he started looking through acupuncture, also chiropractor. What is a chiropractor? Pops it. First thing is pops my bones. They basically align you. Right? They readjust you, put you in alignment, so your joints are, are freely moving. So these out of whack, so they put it back in place. Okay? So, and then acupuncture. Does anybody know anything about acupuncture? Needles. needles. The purpose of the needles are basically to help relax muscles. Also, there's a fundamental thing called chi. They believe in, we talked about, I don't know if we talked about it before, but chi is about um, the, you have a field. We do have a magnetic field around us. But the chi also, they found out, goes in, when you go into the muscle, it helps relax the muscle. The needle is stimulating the muscle tissue. And so when they looked at it, but his studies as an acupuncturist and as a chiropractor, there's another thing I looked into, it's called myofascial release. We talked about the fascia before. The fascia is a thin layer of um, tissue that surrounds all our organs and muscles. And what happens is over time of overuse, basically the muscles, what? They contract and stay that way. And if somebody, if you were, somebody says, oh, I got a knot in my back. I got a knot in my shoulder. What is a knot? It's muscle tightness. And you can actually feel it, right? You can actually feel the knot. And basically the muscle is, the, and what they're doing, they found with myofascial is, is basically you smooth it out, okay? So what they've done, is they look at the tissue, and with the tissue is the tissue is basically compressing, pushing down on the what the different levels of the tissue is what two layers of tissue is what's two layers of the tissue dermis and the epidermis. Epidermis is what top. And so they looked at it as, it as the muscles are scrunched up. It puts compression down, slowing, the, slowing down blood flow, also slowing down lymphatic drainage. Find out, let's say we're doing the deltoid. Okay, she has pain right in here. So, the, you know, the origin and insertion of the muscle. Okay, so what we find is, so you might have to cut it to what you want. So I'm going to start back here on the scapula of the spine, come down, and we'll put it down here, about here where the um, insertion 
of the deltoid is, okay? And usually what I do is I come from here and I kind of curl it up, because it'll bend, and I can curl it up and give her a little bit of support, okay? So how you start off, you find your insertion, or insertion. you need two ankles, anchor strips. Remember we did anchor strips? Well this, and here's the cool thing about this, is all you do is take this tape, and it's easy to tear, we don't have to worry about tearing, <laughs> is it the tape of the back, this pla little um, plastic covering, it just tears real easy. So I want to make two tears, and these are going to be my anchors, okay? These are not going to be stretched. So I find her spot. So I peel it off. It's a lot easier than it was. There we go. So I basically lay the anchor down and I rub it. Again, it's heat activated. Some people use their finger. Some people use the um, leftover and rub it. So you just want to rub it pretty good, get the um, glue activated. And so I take the rest. And a lot of the research I said said about 40 to 50 percent. So I'm going to pull about 40 to 50 percent. Okay. And then you just lay it down. And then you come here. And then you'll, the insertion point. Basically, I'm going to just take that off again. You're not going to stretch just part of the anchor strip. And then again, you rub it. You get the heat activated. And that is it. Now we can using KT tape, we can, if she had instability, anterior instability, what I would do is I come from the front, come back around, cover it over, it will stick to itself to the other tip laying over, and then what I would do is I would do another strip from front to back to basically kind of compress and keep it, and that's what I do with my basketball player. Again, how much stretching? Now, let's say she had she got hit and she was really bruised. I would do about 50, 60 trips. I would put some stress because I really want to pull the skin up. Now, question is, do you feel it pulling on you? No. Not really. So when I say I'm putting a stretch on, I'm not, she doesn't really feel it. Okay? So, now, let's grab, um, grab a couple of strips. And go ahead and practice. It's pre-cut. So all I want you to do right now, we got plenty of tape. What I'd like for you to do is get with standing next to a partner. Go ahead and practice. Go ahead and practice. What we're going to do is you're going to take the forearm. Okay? All you're going to do is the forearm. I want you to practice tearing the tape. So basically you're okay, I'm not you're not tearing the tape, you're tearing the uh, cover on the back. And so basically all you do is grab the tape and just pull. Just pull. Just pull it apart. And the tape will tip. Just pull apart. There you go. See the right part of the right and, and then just keep tearing it all the way down so you go all the way across. Okay? There you go. And so go to the other end and do the same thing. So you should have two ends that look like this. So when you do that, what's that do? All you're doing is tonight you're preparing the tape. So, so when you peel off the sticker, you know. they have the sticky in. So what you you don't want the problem is once it starts sticking in the glue, you can't. I learned if you peel it off and try to reuse it, it won't stick. It's one. So you really don't want to mess up the glue. So, and I want to protect this part. I don't want to put any um, dust, hair, or any imperfections on it, so it won't stick. So I want to keep the covered part. Cover the tape covered as long as possible. Okay, so grab your person, and all you're going to do is peel off the one end. Okay. All right. So using her, so peel off one end, so you have it exposed at the end, and just place it down on 
forearm. And then you're going to rub it down a little bit. If you want to, you can. I like this. You can keep it on for a couple hours to see if it changes, how it feels. You just lay it down. There you go. And just rub it down a little bit. So now what you're going to do, you're going to take the other end, and you're going to come here in the middle. Grab, and now you're going to tear off the sticker part in the middle. So grab this part and just peel it off. And then... What you do is you just, I want you to stretch it just a little bit until the other anchor part goes down to their wrist. Turn your palms up, there you go. So now you just run your hand along the tape, smash it down. <laughs> and then once you get the majority of the tape laid down, take the, the anchor strip you have, take it off. And then come back with the, the sticker part and rub up and down the tape. Again, what does this do? It's, it's activating the glue by heating the glue up, okay? okay? So now the people who have it, just move your hand around, arm and stuff like that, and you should feel it moves really with you. It doesn't restrict you at all. 